Hey, welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. If you're new here, go check out some of our other videos and subscribe. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for your for subscribing to our channel. And this one, we're going to tie a f uh, flashback nymph. This fly is very important. We tie this in many different colors. It's a variety of different flies put together. In fact, my girlfriend, Tracy, will not go to the creek without this in different colors. We are going up to Pine Creek this weekend, and she said, well, why don't you do a video on that one and tie up some extra ones while you're at it so I have some extra for when I go up there. She kills them with this fly. So check this fly out. You'll love it. Tie up with some of different colors, and... Uh, Thank you for watching our video, and here we go, on to the fly. Get a grip on your bad self, learn to love the game. Get on down to the roulette wheel, pray that the end comes and wheels and win its way. The hotel's not alive, and the mystery's not the why. All the flies tied in today's video are being tied on hooks given to us by the Rise and Fly Company. Go check out what they have today for today's fly fishermen at www.riseandfly.com. All right, you want to start. You took the take the hook and put it to the straight part of the shank so that your bend is down, and then you're going to put your bead on there and with your fingers push down on it and make like a little pop sound and most of this debarbs our hooks for us if we don't it don't we usually clip them off later but this will usually debarb your hook when you're putting that out that's a little clip you have to get by the barb on your hook if you clip that if you bend it off first the bead will slide right on but I usually do this and it usually barbs hook for me Uh, here we're going to start the, right behind the bead and run our line all the way back to the bend in the hook, which we do for dry flies and nymphs and everything. You want to lay that base of thread down. It helps materials from spinning on you, not ending up where you want them at. We use a lot of fingernail polish when we uh, for head cement. Some people tell you don't do this. I might get in trouble for telling you this, but I do a lot. One reason is I'll take a little piece. If I weighed it, if I put lead on here, which you can do if you want them to sink faster, fast water, I'll take a little bit of that black fingernail polish and stick it around the bend of the hook there. And on the ones that I don't put weight on, I won't. So it's just a habit to grab it. So when you put lead on, that's a way when you look down at the fly, you can tell if you weighed that one or not. It works pretty slick. So there's an idea for you guys, tires, to tell your flies apart. Here we tied in a couple strands of pheasant tail for the tail of the fly. And then we cinch that all down with thread. We now gonna tie in our wire for our wire rib 
You could use black thread. You could use red thread. You could use silver, gold. Try different things. Experiment different colors, different ribbing. We're still playing with all kinds of varieties. So check it out. See what works in your area. Okay, this is something that we changed that we felt works a lot better. Uh, most people when they do a flashback nymph, they put wide flash flashback in. Um, it's about a quarter inch thick or maybe a little hair smaller. We like using the individual strands that you would use in a, a streamer pattern, so to speak. We found that it gives it a little bit more uh, effects underwater I use both and I don't like the wider stuff so this is one thing that we changed uh, I had I I would stick with using the little strands of flashback it works so much better for us when we change this here we are using we are dubbing the fly we had too much dubbing on there we had to back it off and put a little bit less dubbing we're using a UV dubbing it's a hexagena fine dubbing okay here we pull the flash back up we to move our thread up there we tie it all, the dubbing off pull our flashing up wrap a couple wraps around that cinch that down once you have that done then you pull your gold wire up and start ribbing the nymph up to where your thread is you tie the ribbing off put a couple wraps in cinch everything down <clears throat> and then we take host ostrich hurl and we tie it in right behind the bead and wrap it hurl style right behind the bead once we have that done then we whip finish that down and cinch everything down and cut off our tying thread Here's another little trick we usually break out, break out the fingernail polish. Uh, it's a little trick, I don't know. It, I can't really tell if it helps. It, it hasn't hurt, so let's put it that way. Uh, we take a little bit of that fingernail polish and dip the toothpick in it. And we put that on the thread wraps uh, around the fly. And you notice we got some on the bead head, and we like to do that. Actually, if you make bead heads, you should make copper with black dot bead heads. That would, uh, we'd buy them. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. It seems to work really well. We do that. Um, it's just like an old thing that happened to us. And that fly that I got some black on the bead head worked really well. And I was like, well, so I don't mind if I do it on the bead head. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. You want your flies look really pretty and then that like you accidentally got black on there we actually kind of do it on purpose so it's a little another little trick you might want to try it definitely helps us out hey thank you for watching our videos all the way to the end I hope you enjoyed this video I definitely think you should tie some of these up in different colors and stuff put them in your box I mean they've been working dynamite for us that and a stone fly I'll soon be covering this is the only thing we caught fish on um, most of the winter. We caught a lot of fish on these. That's not the only fish we caught, but the majority of our fish we caught was this and this stone fly that we're going to cover. Uh, check out the, that uh, UV hexagena, UV fine dubbing. That stuff works really good. It's a UV dubbing. Um, go down 
in the description below. And make sure you check out all our people, sponsors of Rust Cat, Team Hanging Outdoors, has their TV show. You go check their TV show out. Click on the link, and it'll probably tell you how to watch their TV show. Check that out with Mike, and he goes hunting and all kinds of stuff. Which we will be starting our outdoor channel, so you can go hunting with us in a couple weeks here. So you have to, we'll be soon starting up that new web, it'll be right on the same as our YouTube, and I'll figure out how to get you guys to that, so you can check out our hunting videos, and us, uh, me and Tracy hunting, and other things, we're going to put other things out the word building sites, but anyway, that's not why we're here, we're here to check, talk about the fly, and uh, if you have any comments, we love comments, um, even them negative comments, when somebody puts a negative comment, for some reason we get just as many views, if not more. So, when I leave you com as many comments you want, bad, good, we love comments, suggestions, flies you want to see, any of them kind of comments, leave them below. Make sure you, it's right, let me see, right there somewhere, right, I think there. That's where you click, and it takes you to our YouTube channel, then click the red subscribe button. And subscribe so you don't miss any videos. We'll be soon putting out videos. Uh, I think it'll be every Tuesday and Friday. We'll be releasing a video. Um, right now, we're, with work and stuff, we're going to be off for the winter. And then we'll be posting maybe three times a week. So you have to check out our videos. Um, we're going, like I said, next weekend to Pine Creek. Go back up for some of them big monster browns. Up to visit them guys at Slate Run. Uh, for the Monster Browns, we'll put a thing up here, right, right there, where you can see the big giant Browns they stock. Go check out this place. We gotta support this place. Uh, someone else was buying the store, and we don't want them to get rid of the Brown Trout Stocking Program. So show them your support and keep them alive. <coughs> it is an amazing place to fish. When almost every fish you catch is over 20 inches, it's just amazing. Um, there is littler ones in there. There's little rainbows you can hook into them. The state puts in, but they put big, big fish in, as you'll see in our video if you check it out. Um, we have a link down to them, the Slate Run Tackle Shop. Uh, if you're going up there, go check out them. They have all kinds of rods, reels, tippet material. Stop in the store. Tell them everything. Fly fishing sent you. We might have to work on a deal where if you... If you tell them that, they give you a discount. We'll have to talk to them next time we're up. See if we can't give you a discount at the shop if you mention our name. And, uh, yeah, when you go in there, tell them. You should give him a disc. You should give him his viewers a discount. Uh, I think that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, get out and go fishing. Uh, you can't hunt on Sundays. You can fish on Sundays, hunt the rest of the week if you're out bow hunting. Here in Pennsylvania, our season has started. I'm sure some other states, they are out bow hunting as well. Uh, we don't bow hunt. We rifle hunt. I used to bow hunt, but uh, I don't get enough practice in with the fishing. I do. so. But we will be teaching you all kinds of stuff about how to skin your deer on our other websites when it's up. Which should be any day now. We'll put some old videos on there. Um, some funny videos of the dancing bird. You gotta check that out. It's funny. A bird dance for us when we were coming back on one of our fishing adventures. So. Thank you for watching our video. Check out our other videos. And please subscribe to this channel. And if you're a hunter, go subscribe to another channel once up and running. And uh, we'll keep bringing you great content. Thank you. Have a good day. Keep your flying flies wet or your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip. Thank you.